that's the same selflessness coming through. Um, and you come to the point of taking, you know, in the dead of winter, you come to Florida where it's got awful cold. <laughs> <laughs> when you could have stayed home somewhere nice and comfortable. Um, <clears throat> and you're going to torture yourselves on Monday morning and get up at 7 a.m. to go and see what Jesus had to say. <laughs> on a holiday. Um, see if he can contradict himself or not. I don't know. <laughs> um, Better be there. But you have to be there to find out. Yep. And, and you will be, which is pretty amazing. Um, our advisory board, I, I need to recognize Dr. Sardi, my surgeon, who's been incredibly helpful to us as a foundation, Dr. Lambert, um, who's been generous with her time, and in helping us with um, educational events in Massachusetts. Um, Dr. Arndt from UPMC, <coughs> representing the, the UPMC uh, facility. Dr. Vatanopoulos, who I met in person for the first time today, and couldn't have been more gracious, but we spent plenty of time on the phone and emailing with such excitement and passion about this thing. Um, Dr. Lowy in San Diego, who I know is not here, but has been spending time and um, committed to helping us do an educational event on the West Coast for the first time this year. Um, <clears throat> again, really going above and beyond in a selfless way to help battle these diseases. Um, Close, there's only two pages. <laughs> um, and probably most importantly for us as a foundation is if you look at patients, <clears throat> um, their families, their friends who organize fundraising events, who attend fundraising events, who call people up and have a bake sale, who do runs and walks and gather, you know, sometimes we'll get checks for $30 or $100 or whatever it is, and we put it together. Um, and it starts to add up. But, you know, if you look at our organization, we're not um, getting big pharma grants to us to, to do this kind of research. We had in 2014 over 1,200 individual donors um, who helped us raise um, about $130,000. No one donor was more than $3,000. So this is truly a grassroots effort of our organization um, to take that money and then be a steward for it to get to um, the best research we can find. Um, <clears throat> we had donations in honor or memory of 50 different individual patients, um, either living or deceased, which I, I like to think is um, a great responsibility to say, again, these people are selflessly saying, my loved one, for whatever reason, <clears throat> didn't make it, but they wanted to do something to help. So, <clears throat> you know, through those grants, hopefully we're helping make that um, dream a reality, helping make that vision come true for people. Um, and uh, we're doing it all with, with your help. We're doing four educational events this year, and we'll be twisting some of your arms to see if you can help help us do it. Um, but the reality is that this award, again, is not something that's about one person. It's not about me. It's about this room. It's about the patients. It's about their families. Um, and, you know, none of us are really effective patient advocates without the rest of us. Um, people have to help get the patients to you, you have to help treat the patients, we have to help get funding for better research that, again, it kind of comes back to you, you're helping us get the research done. Um, so we're doing our part, I like to think, but this is definitely something that's, that's bigger than uh, even our organization. It's, it's all of us as a family. Um, and we'll keep doing the part that we're, we're doing and we know from your attendance here that you're gonna keep doing the part <clears throat> you're doing and we appreciate it. Um, and you know, we're not done yet, we'll keep at it. And we have grant, <coughs> a grant RFP coming out in March. Everybody look 
for it. Everybody sign up. We want to give you some money, <laughs> and we want to make a difference. So thank you.